I believe this is your time to do what's never been done before and to go where you've never gone before. Today, let's talk about the topic, forsake the familiar from excuses to execution. Oh, I'm mic'd up. Join me and let's mix it up. Good, good people. How you doing? How you living? How's it going? What's happening? I hope you are doing well. Well, I want to welcome you to another edition of In the Mix. I'm yours truly, your host with the most, Dr. Eddie Connor, and it is an honor that you're joining and tuning in with us today. We're going to have a conversation of illumination, but in order to do that, we got to drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. And of course, I want you to go ahead and do that. Drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. Hit the thumbs up button. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Come on, let somebody know about this show. Invite somebody in. Yeah, let somebody know about the show. Invite somebody in. That's for show. And we're going to light it all the way up. Yeah, drop some light bulb emojis in the chat. Let's light it all the way up. 100 watt conversation. We're going to keep it 100. Too lit to quit. Why? Because we are the light of the world. On our channel for change, our channel that creates change, our channel that breaks chains, we're going to spotlight and highlight the particular topic for today entitled Forsake the Familiar from Excuses to Execution. Here's what I recognize. Here's what I realize that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you'll keep getting what you've been getting. You know, it's very hard for a lot of people to forsake the familiar because even if it is negative, it's familiar to them even if the positive could possibly be coming and they don't necessarily know it, it's unfamiliar territory, ter- unfamiliar territory to them. You know, it's, it's kind of like I heard somebody say, I'd rather deal with a devil I know than one that I don't know. <laughs> it, sick, sordid, twisted type of concept for where people have lowered their standards and their expectations so much that they don't believe something bigger, better, brighter can come. Come on, family. I just need you to just type this. Just type forsake the familiar. Forsake the familiar. You got to get out of your own comfort zone. I need you to hear me. Comfort is the enemy of achievement. Yes, it is. Comfort is the enemy of achievement. And whenever you get complacent, you'll always be replaced. You got to get comfortable being uncomfortable. You got to be uncomfortable with being comfortable. Now, I want you just for the, just for a few moments, I want you to think about this. Can you pinpoint something in your life that is hindering your vision from coming to fruition? I, I, I want, as you're thinking about it, I want you to write it down to what, what, what are the things? What is that thing? You know, maybe it's like you have an Amory moment. This is that one thing. <laughs> maybe you have an Apostle Paul moment. This one thing that I do. Forgetting those things that are behind. But I want you to think about this right now. I want you to think about this. What can you pinpoint in your life? That is hindering your vision from coming to fruition. Write it down. I want, here's what I want you to do. I want you to be honest with you. Yeah, and say, yep, it's my attitude. I want you to be honest with you and say, you know what? Yep, it's my level of stinking thinking that keeps me soaking and sinking. I want you to be real honest with you and say, you know what? Yep, it's them limited beliefs right there. It's the emotional squatters. It's the emotional snipers. It's the scarcity mindset. Come on, on your mark, get set. 
I want you to be honest with you, with yourself. Is it fear of failure? Is it the fact that you feel like you're going to be suffering from success? Is it the opinions of other people? Is it your budget or lack thereof? Is it poor planning? Is it procrastination? Is it your bad habits? Is it even your own limited, skewed level of thinking? What is hindering you from getting to the next level? I need you to hear me. Before we point the blame at others, oftentimes what we have to do is we got to look at ourselves. We, we got to put ourselves under an intense microscope. Because here's the thing. If we can be honest, it's hard for us to forsake the familiar because we've become so comfortable with the mediocre. Let me say that again. It's hard for us to forsake the familiar because we become so comfortable with the mediocre. We've settled for just having enough. We've settled for just doing enough. We've settled for just thinking enough. Right. Many times we don't think we can be fill in the blank because no one ever connected to us. No one ever connected to us in a place to where we've ever achieved it. Many times we don't feel like we can be fill in the blank because no one that is related to us ever achieved such a thing. And so what happens? Our present situation now be now moves us into a place to where we reflect the labels, we, refer, we reflect the limits, we reflect all of the negative opinions that people have castigated us and placed on top of us. And now we live a limited life. Now we talk ourselves out of what God wants us to step into. Come on, family, just type no limits, no limits, no boundaries. I see greatness. I see favor. I see blessings all around me. No limits. And that's why, listen, whenever I got my peril on his own, that's why you got to be a part of our Amazing Eagles Academy session tonight where we're taking, we're breaking the limits off of your life. Unlimited opportunities, unlimited growth, unlimited expectations, unlimited strategies, structure, solutions, and systems to take your vision to another dimension. I want you to go right now. You owe it to you. Go right now to the eaglesacademy.com. Yes. The EaglesAcademy.com, the EaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, fill out the form. I want you to be transformed as you hit the join now button. Go ahead and do that. Break those limits that are in your life. Here, here's the thing, but I understand. Life's limitations have oftentimes put us in a precarious position. It's put us in a precarious place to where we think an extraordinary life is for everybody else but us. It's beyond us. Right? Everybody else got something great about themselves except us. I need you to stop with that. That's wrong. Stop Stop that woe is me type of mentality. Don't nobody like me. Don't nobody want to talk to me. Don't want to be, nobody want to be no friend with me. No, don't nobody want to do that, this, that, and the other. And here's what, ha what, what happens. Now nobody wants to because you keep reflecting that. Because you keep speaking it. Because you keep thinking it. Come on, you got to change. You got to, got to change your situation. You change your situation to a place of elevation when you, when you start changing your level of thinking. You're getting what you're saying. You're having what you're saying simply because you keep on speaking it. You keep on saying it. Here's what you got to do. You got to de declare and decree that I attract the best and the blessed in my life. You got to you got to declare and decree that royalty is within me. You got to declare and decree that God wants the best and the blessed for me. You got to declare and decree that the best and the blessed is going to happen for me. Come on, family. Just type declare and decree. Declare and decree. I'm forsaking the familiar, declare and decree. I'm moving from excuses to execution. Take all the excuses off the table as to why it's not going to work. Stop playing small. Playtime over is the big leagues. Playtime over is the big leagues. Hey, playtime over is the big leagues. That's got to be the mentality. Right? You, you surrounded yourself with enough junk. And here's the thing. Sometimes we surround ourselves with so much junk that when we eventually release it, our mind is still connected to it. 
So, so here's what we do. We now continue to forecast rather than forsake. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm talking better than y'all typing back to me. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. We having a super conversation. We continue to forecast rather than forsake. And just because I'm disconnected to, from you physically does not necessarily mean that I'm disconnected from you mentally. Oh, you can be delivered and still not be healed. Got to start speaking to the jewel. Got to start speaking to the value that's inside of you. Right? Stop talking yourself out of your vision and your God-ordained destiny. Nobody in your family ever became a millionaire. That's on them, but it's time for you to become one. It's time for you to, here it is, shift the trajectory for your family, for your future, for your friends, for the favor of what it is that God has on your life. Just because nobody ever did it doesn't mean that you can't. If no one ever transitioned from employee to, plo to employer, then it's time for you to be the one who does it. If nobody ever became a Fortune 500 CEO, it's time for you to do it. If nobody ever went and got their bachelor's, or their master's, or their PhD, or other degrees, it's time for you to do it. Stop allowing the limitations that are on, uh, that are on others to limit you. Just because you feel limited don't mean I have to be. Just because you feel limited doesn't mean I have to make myself a liability. Greater is he that's within me. So I'll never be a liability. Oh, come on. Come on, family. Type, type no limits, no liabilities. Come on, I need you to type that. Type no limits, no liabilities. That's what it is. Family, you're watching in the mix, but don't tell me that you're not a member of in the mix. We got to do something about that. For all of you who are not members of In The Mix, but you continue to watch In The Mix, I need you to go do this right now. Link is in the chat. Link is in the description of this video. Tap that link now and become a member. Become a, be, not just a member, become a partner. Yeah. Some of you have, you, yeah, you're, you're a member of by subscribing, but I need you to become a partner by assigning yourself a badge. Shout out to all of our amazing Great, grandiose, empowering members who are in our chat. And we can tell that you're a member simply because, you know, the way that you comment has a certain particular color code that's connected to it. Once you go ahead and get a badge, VIP Royalty OQP, go ahead and support that badge. And my gift and my gift to you is to give you access, yeah, access granted to all of my in the mix membership videos. Things that I don't show you here, you're able to see it there. Go ahead and become a member of In The Mix. You got to speak over your life. Listen, no limits, no liabilities. You got to declare over your life. Listen, every every, neg every negative pattern over my life is, is broken. Every generational curse over my life is broken. Despite what ran in your family, you got to declare it and decree it. In the name of Jesus, it, it now runs out with me. Curse of poverty is broken. Curse of abuse is broken. Curse of rejection is broken. It's not going to inhabit my life. It's not going to inhabit my future. I'm rising from the ashes. Come on, family. Just type rise from the ashes. Yeah, like the remnant that I am. <laughs> if you never come, came to our church, I want you to come to our church. The Remnant Worshippers Church every single Sunday, 10 a.m. You can also watch us online, trwchurch.org. Yeah, trwchurch.org. The, the, the curse of poverty. The curse of rejection, the curse of neglect, the curse of stinking thinking that keeps me suffering and sinking. Rise from the ashes, family. Just type rise, type rise, rise from the ashes and walk in freedom with your vision. That's what you got to do. Family, I want you to stick and stay. More is on the way. Oh, yeah, we, we just we just we just tapping into it just now. We just we just getting off the runway. Mm hmm. Come with me. I want you to make sure. You make sure that you stick and stay. After these messages, I'll be right back. Our schools are underfunded, teachers are underpaid, and our children are undereducated. Our classrooms, culture, curriculum, and communities are in crisis like never before. Education is the key, but the lock is broken. So how do we fix it? I'm so glad that you asked. I'm giving you strategies in my new book. It's my 17th book, by the way, called Strategies for Successful Schools. How to Develop a Diverse Classroom of Learners Who Read, Lead, and Succeed. This is a book that's available right now 
for our educational leaders. It's a must read for school board members, parents, community advocates, transformative teachers. And yes, for those of you who desire to see our children lead and succeed. But not only that, so many of our young people are struggling with their academics, their mental well-being, limiting beliefs, procrastination, interpersonal trauma, and just feeling like they're hopeless. But what if there was a go-to guide to empower you to be a champion and our children to be a champion and empower them to overcome challenges? Here's the good news. I've got another book for you. It's my 18th one. Learners are leaders. Strategies and solutions for student success. It's got a 31-day journal in there. It's got affirmations, really a lot of valuable life lessons, ways to set smart goals for success, improve your mental well-being, foster academic success. So much more that is in store when you get not just one, but both of these books. They're both available right now on Amazon. Yeah, go get it right now. But also, you can get signed copies that are available at theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books. Don't just get them for you, but also get them for someone else too. Yes, yes, y'all, and we don't stop. Come on, family, I need you to heed to these resources that you've heard. Let's get back to the word. Family, we're talking about, for sake the familiar, from excuses to execution. And just like I was mentioning before, here's, here's what we gotta do. We gotta shut the door on all the reasons as to why certain things are not working. We, we have to do some real inductive study to really see what is the what is it that's hindering me? Because generally, we always place the blame. We always shift the blame onto other people when really we have not leveled up. We are not executing, sim executing simply because it's, uh, it's on us. You got lazy with you. You stopped doing what you're supposed to do. You keep focusing on everybody else. You're not maximizing your time. Hello? You spending all your money. Oh, I need you to talk to me. You're not making your vision a priority. And here's what you got to do. You got to tap into the unlimited dream and the unlimited destiny that's within you. Come on, family. Just type unlimited. No limits, no liabilities. I got to live a limitless unlimited life come on family type unlimited type limitless unlimited i gotta move from excuses to execution i gotta be unlimited i gotta move into a place to what it, to what it is that's going to be limitless maybe buried under the trash of your trials the greatness in you maybe buried under some junk when there's a jewel in you but here's what you got to do you got to reach within and you got to grab it there's a treasure inside your spirit. You're gifted for greatness. God has taken you where no one has gone before to do what no one has ever done before. Yeah. And here's the thing. Can you trust God to lead you? Can you trust him when you can't trace him? You got to step out. You got to let go of what you're used to. So that you can receive the miraculous of what it is that God has for you. You got to get so allergic to being average. That's what you got to do. You, you, you got to get so allergic to being average to say, this is beneath me. This is below me. I ain't talking about people. I'm talking about ideas. I'm not talking about people. I'm prioritizing my future. I'm not talking about negativity and focused on this person and that person. If they like me, if they don't like, like me. No, more than likely, I need to be doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I've got laser focus on the vision of what it is that God gave me. And so here it is. Every single day, it's a forward ever, backward never moment. Come on, you getting up in the morning focused on people rather than focused on what the mission is that God wants you to do. It ought to be, it, 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 here's the thing. You waking up in the morning talking about what do people think about me? When you need to be getting up in the morning talking about God, what do you think about me? God, what should I be doing? God, how do you want me to move in this place today? Who do you need me to bless? Where do you need me to be? Where do you need me to go? Here it is. When your mind is so consumed with that, you ain't consumed with them. You're consumed with him. Why? Because there's a consuming fire. There's a sweet perfume. His awesome presence is filling, filling the room. His, his awesome presence is filling your heart and your mind and your soul and your spirit, 
You ain't no whiner, you're a winner. You're not no warrior, you're a warrior. You're not no chump, you're a champion. You're not no chicken, you're an eagle. You're not chained to your past, you're chained for your future. Time to spread your wings and soar to the next level. I'm helping you to do that tonight. Go right now to theeaglesacademy.com. We got class tonight, theeaglesacademy.com. Theeaglesacademy.com. When you get there, tap the join now button, fill out the form, be transformed. Right after this session, we're soaring into our amazing Zoom room. Yeah with amazing gifted leaders who are going to be maximizing the moment. Come on, family, just type that. Maximize your moment. Maximize your moment. I, I have to shift from where I am to where I need to be. In order to do that, here's what I got to do. I got to let go of the excuses so that I can execute. I got to understand this. Listen, you, you're too great to be good. You're too amazing to be average. Stop settling for just enough when you're connected to God, when you're connected to the Lord, and he wants to give you more than enough. If you settle, you'll never get to the next level. And here's, here, here's what I understand about vision. Vision pushes you to aspire higher. Why? Because the most dangerous place that you can be in life is not when you're walking on water, but when you're staying in the boat. I got to forsake the familiar. The way that I've been doing certain things is not working anymore. The thoughts I've been thinking aren't working anymore. The places I've been going are displacing me now more than ever before. Come on. I got to forsake the familiar. I've, I've got too comfortable being uncomfortable. I've got too comfortable being in a place to where... I'm, I've been around individuals who do nothing but cripple me. When I was created, when I was called to understand this, that the sky is not just the limit for you, is, is the sky is not the limit for you, is only a view. I got to surround myself with people who lift me. I got to surround myself with individuals who, who cause me to level up, not cripple me. The problem is you felt so despondent. You felt so low. You felt so negative about yourself. Because you keep surrounding yourself with individuals who tell you one thing that they love you, that they adore you, that they can't get enough of you, that they want to see you grow and glow to another dimension, but they keep talking behind your back. They keep telling you what you can't do, what you can't become, what you can't overcome, what you can't recover from. I need you to hear me. You got to let go of the liabilities. You got to let go of the losers. You got to let go of, here it is, the loser mentality of what it is that you've adopted. Because if you're going to execute on that book that you've been talking about getting it done all year. Mm -hmm, when I can help you to do that, by the way, inquire from within. You, you've been talking about, well, I'm going to do the business blueprint and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm about to do this. And here it is. We're in a particular place right now where I, I got to stop talking about what I'm going to do and I got to make sure that I do it. Execution is where it has to be. Come on, family, just type execute. Type execute. Because, because here's the thing. Many of us, we really don't want it that bad. You, you, you say you want it. You know, you act like you want it because, you know, you're consistent for maybe a week. And then you get week after week. <laughs> and now and now you're wreaking havoc on everything. You're consistently inconsistent. I, I got to want it bad enough. To say, listen, I'm taking no prisons. I'll, I'll stay with I do what I got to do. I got to pull an all night or I'll do that. Got to get up early. I'll do that. Yeah, if I if I got to sacrifice lunchtime to create my own launch time. I'll do that. I want it bad enough to where I'm willing to forsake the familiar and, and forsaking the familiar is not just saying I'm going to leave the particular city of where it is that I've been. Because here's the thing, wherever you go, you always take you with you. Yeah, you packing all these bags, but you got a whole lot of baggage internally. 
You got more baggage internally than you got bags externally. And now the baggage has become garbage. You go to Atlanta, still ain't nothing different. You go to L.A., still ain't nothing different. You go to Utah, still ain't nothing different. You go to Providence, Rhode Island, still ain't nothing different. You go to New York and Chicago and Virginia and Louisiana. Hmm? And nothing changes if nothing changes. Everything remains the same. Why? Because you're still the same. Oh, it's tight, but it's going to be all right. We keep saying this particular person broke my heart. This particular person did this, that. But here's the thing. Oftentimes, we're the one breaking our own heart. We're the one stopping ourselves from our level of success. We're the one who is in the way. When God is trying to create a way out of no way. But he, but he, but he's saying to you, will you just move out the way? Excuse me. Why has God got to come in your life and say, excuse me? <laughs> Family, just type, get out of your own way. God got to put up his own finger as, as if he put up the Baptist finger. Excuse me. I, God got to excuse himself in your life. No, that ain't happening. Excuse yourself on out the way. Get out of the way with your disposition. Get out of the way with your th stinking thinking. Get out of the way with your backward living. Get out of the way from, from being around drama-filled people. Hmm? Who ought to get an Academy Award for all the drama that they keep up. Get away from those who are crying and lying. Get away! And surround yourself with people who are going to lift you and not cripple you. Surround yourself with other individuals who can forsake the familiar. And unless, until you are able to do that, go alone. Soar alone. God is going to bring the right people into your life to do that. But here's what I understand. Sometimes he creates a situation of isolation. God creates a situation of isolation for your eventual, eventual elevate, uh, elevation. He, for your eventual evolution. He creates a situation of isolation for your elevation and for your evolution. But between the isolation and the elevation, between the isolation and the evolution, there's a revelation that he gives you. And he gives you a revelation about himself in your life. And he gives you a revelation about what he placed within you. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. What it is. That saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. What do I see? I see me. Come on, family. Type amazing grace. I see my value. I see my worth. I see my greatness. I see what God has placed within my life. I see my purpose. I see my promise. I see my potential. I see my possibility. I see how I need to forgive to overcome animosity. I was blind, but now I see me. Come on, family, just type, I see me. I see me and all of what it is that God placed within me. I got to forsake the familiar. Oh, come on. This is not, this is, this is your time now. Come on, family, just type now, now, now. Now, if I do it now, then here's what it'll be. I'll be in a place to where you flip the word now, N-O-W, flip it around. I've won. <laughs> come on, come on, family. Just type one, one, W-O-N. I've won because here it is. I've become, I've become one with God and I've become one with my purpose. When I take the step now, I've already won because I've become one with God and I become one with the purpose of what it is that he's given me. All oh, family. We're having a super conversation. Drop a super chat. Drop a super sticker. When, when I do what it is that God has instructed me to do. Now. I have won because I become one with God 
and I become one with the purpose of what he's given me. I need you to hear me. Delayed obedience is still disobedience. God told you to move now and you waited months down the line. Delayed obedience is still disobedience. What is it that you possibly missed? What are the hindrances that now you've caused simply because you were not in lockstep and in line with what it is that God had you at a particular time? I got to do what he needs me to do so I can get to where he needs me to be. Family, I want you to sow into this word that you've heard. We're doing so many amazing things. And with your support, we can go to another level. We can do even greater. We can grow to a greater space and place with your support. I want you right now with this amazing word that we've heard about forsaking the familiar. Yeah, forsaking the familiar. I don't know. Maybe we need to do part two on this. Forsaking the familiar from excuses to execution. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to sow into that. You say, well, how do I do that? I'm so glad that you asked. Super chat, super sticker into our super conversation. You can drop a super chat and a super sticker. I appreciate that. You can do that. Conversation like this one right here is also why you need to sow. You can do that online as well. Cash app, dollar sign, access identity, PayPal, Zelle, Eddie Connor, JR at gmail.com. Yeah. Links in the chat. Links in the description of this video for how to give and where to give. I'm joining my faith with yours. I want you as you're sowing your seed to name your seed as well. Maybe you're naming your seed healing. Maybe you're naming your seed forsaking. Maybe you're naming your seed overcoming the familiar. Maybe you're naming your seed from excuses to execution. Maybe you're naming your seed overflow and favor and divine intervention and support and strategy. I don't know what you're naming your seed, but I want to join my faith with yours that God does exceedingly abundantly above all that you can ask or even think yes thank you for the super chat and the super sticker thank you for sewing via cash app dollar sign access identity paypal zale eddie connor jr at gmail dot com i truly appreciate you and i thank you for your support and i thank you for partnering with me so that we can continue to build this blessed broadcast broaden our broadcast and empower amazing people like you if you're not a member of our In The Mix family, I want you to go ahead and become a member. Yes, become a member. Links in the chat, links in the description of this video. Tap on that link and then also get one of the badges that we have. VIP Royalty OQP. And of course, you will receive a particular color in our chat, which lets you know that you are a badge bearer. You are a badge member and my giving my gift to you is to give you access to our members only area in and on our YouTube channel. Family, of course, like I say, whenever I have my apparel on, just know that it is all the way on. And it sure will be as we soar into our amazing session tonight in our Eagles Academy. I would that you would join us. You coming? Come on. Come on. Soar with us. Go to the EaglesAcademy.com. The EaglesAcademy.com. The EaglesAcademy.com. When you get there, tap the Join Now button. Fill out the form and I guarantee you, yes, you will be transformed. I can't wait to share tonight. Oh, it's going to be right. Family, what I do know is that in the mix is out of time. But family, I'm not out of truth. And so I want to thank you for rocking with me. I want to thank you for riding with me. I want to thank you for rolling with me. Why? Because that's just how we roll. And we roll together each and every single weekday, Monday through Friday for In the Mix. And you know, family, we mix it up right here on the YouTube side, Monday through Friday. But I do need you to hit the subscribe button. I need you to hit the like button. Like, share, subscribe. Come on, do that. But also, sincere salute to all of our viewers on social media. Thank you for checking us out on our sister satellite stations on social media. I give you a sincere salute. And I just got a question for you. Are you my friend? Are we locked in? Well, if so, step this way. Which way am I talking about? By friending me, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok. We don't stop right now. Come on, go ahead. Go ahead and look for my name at Eddie Connor Jr. Yeah, E-D-D-I-E-C-O-N-N-O-R. -N -N 
O R J R. Y'all keep showing love. I'm going to keep showing up. I'm personally inviting you to receive a word from me each and every single Sunday and Tuesday. Sundays at 10 a.m., Tuesdays at 7 p.m. at the Remnant Worshippers Church. Yeah. 20470 Hubble Street. We're doing our best to save your seat. Come on, come on. 20470 Hubble Street. I want to see you. I want to empower you. I want to meet and greet you. I want to see you in our place. I want you to show your face in our place. The Remnant Worshippers Church in the city of Detroit. And yeah, go ahead. We're on Instagram as well. At the Remnant Worshippers. Yes. At the Remnant Worshippers. And of course on Facebook as well. The Remnant Worshippers Ministry. If I can help you. If I can serve you in any way. Don't hesitate. Please reach out to me. Come on. Get any of my books. They're all on Amazon. I got 18 of them out there. My latest two. Learners of Leaders. Strategies for Successful Schools. You can also get signed copies at theeaglesacademy.com forward slash books. If you're looking for a dynamic speaker, why would you look any further? You know I'm the man for the job, and so I want to invite you. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you to invite me. I'm inviting you to invite me. <laughs> yeah, invite me to your school, your church, your graduation, your school, your session, your church, whatever the case may be, your mentoring organization. Let's make some progression. All you have to do is email me to invite me. Info at eddieconnor.com. And, of course, you know it would be an honor for me to empower you. Sure, surely, Dr. Eddie, your main man, 100 grand, your brother, mm, and I mean that, from another mother. Family, it's been fun, but you know a brother got to run. So I want you to know it's been a privilege and a pleasure, a treat and a treasure, a joy. Yes, it has been beyond measure. But I want you, yes, you, I'm talking to you now, to remember to keep the faith and believe it's going to be bigger, better, a whole lot brighter. Peace. And yeah, a whole lot of love too. Keep soaring higher family there is power in partnership and we are better together which is why i am on a mandated mission to activate 30 yes 30 new action takers who are ready to soar beyond their limits i'm ready to develop and deploy you into your gifts and your greatness now are you ready well get activated by joining the eagles academy where we cultivate your gifts and your talents to become the greatest version of yourself and we do this through weekly mastermind sessions where you receive strategies for exponential growth with self-paced Eagle's Nest reflections that include personalized feedback to transform you, to renew your mindset, to empower you to take action and actualize your purpose. Are you an action taker? If so, today I ask you, are you ready to answer the call? Well, great. Then visit theeaglesacademy.com and become a member. For only $24.99 you will unlock unlimited knowledge and resources that will launch you and catapult you into the greatest version of yourself. I invite you to the winner's circle. On your mark, get set, go right now to theeaglesacademy.com and seize this moment.